So how does procrastination affect our sleep? Oh, can I go for this one? Yeah. So um, it's called revenge bedtime procrastination. It's something that I learned very recently. So if you're not doing a good job of giving yourself time to do the things that you enjoy during the day, and you're really taken up with work either because you procrastinated, you know, and you put it off, then when it's time for you to go to bed, you're going to stay up out of spite and relax just to, you know, get your relaxation time back. And so you're going to procrastinate going to sleep itself because you didn't get to relax because you procrastinated during the day. So learning about that was very revealing to me about my own patterns because I know I tend to do that especially on the days that I'm very busy and I haven't taken the time for myself so then I end up in this vicious cycle of staying busy not taking care of myself then not sleeping on time because I need to relax and then because I haven't slept well enough then procrastinating the next day so <laughs> that's how <laughs> procrastination okay that was like like you know light works because you're like that makes so much sense. And I, I just learned this. <laughs> uh, who wants to go next? I always wait for those moments when Akshay's mind is blown every call <laughs> because he has said something brilliant. <laughs> yeah, my mind was blown too. The concept of revenge is pretty interesting. because It's just you. Usually the word revenge involves another person. But here is just you. And um, yeah, it's definitely... Uh, something about that white light when you go to sleep that's very addictive just like how people use restrooms uh, with their phones they it's, it's almost it's difficult for people to not have their phones with them at all times so definitely uh, procrastinating sleep uh, because of not having time during the day because of procrastinating work <laughs> yeah that's a uh, difficult uh, cycle to get out of so yeah i didn't i didn't know that concept so thanks for sharing sia i want to bring in like a, uh, like another point which is uh, sometimes uh, when you uh, when you procrastinate you know you have to sleep every day so uh, what you need to do is like okay you know what i'm going to sleep early now and i'm going to wake up and then i'll do the work and so the me now i can see that i can i have the self awareness that I'm not going to do the work now. But my, the me after I wake up, he's a different story. Or she's a different story depending on uh, if it's a mayor, it's boy or girl. But, uh, you know, they go there. And then uh, sometimes, you know, people, people know, the, they, they know the importance of sleep. They know the importance of self-care. And uh, they sort of use it as, you know what? This is not working out. So what I'm going to do is sleep now. And uh, you know, break my uh, procrastination because to procrastinate, I have to be awake. So, uh, and once I wake up, it's a whole new other day. I can get my focus back onto it. And that's a, that's a strategy that I've used as well. And uh, if anybody else uses, we are uh, brothers, we are brothers and sisters. Ilakya? Uh, funny you mentioned that because I did that in high school. That was my strategy. Um, I'd come back home, I'd plan out, you know, this assignment takes one hour, this takes two hours, this takes however many like minutes. I figured that all out. I realized how much time I need to be awake before school starts the next day to get this work done. And then I calculate, okay, I want to sleep like seven or eight hours. So I moved that up. And I used to do a thing where I would sleep at like 6 p.m. to wake up at 2 a.m. and then work until like 7 a.m. and get my work done. <laughs> that was in high school. College, I could not keep that up. <laughs> I was not going to do that. I became the kind of person who knew I would not wake up in time to get my work done. So then I started staying up really late because the way procrastination affects your sleep is that eventually the procrastinator needs to get the work done, especially in terms of short-term things. So once the deadline is nearby, sleep becomes expendable. And that's why we always cut down on sleep in order to make way for the procrastinator to get their work done. Um, sleep is not as prioritized as the task in that moment. So we choose to spend our time that the procrastinating work requires. So now if an exam is open from 9 a.m. to 9 a.m., 
I don't start studying until 11 p.m. And then it takes me a while to study. So I'm up till 4 a.m. studying. And then I start the exam at 4 a.m. and get it done by 5.30 a.m. And <laughs> because I didn't sleep enough, I start sleeping at 5.30 and I don't wake up until noon, which cuts off more time in the next day, which leads to less time to do things. So uh, it's sleep becomes very expendable. So that's why um, it's an issue. But at least for me now, I know that if I don't sleep, I don't get work done the next day. Recently, I tried to set a, a sleep schedule and get a certain number of hours of sleep every day. I figured out if I get less than six and a half hours a day, I am going to have headaches the next day. I'm not going to like it. I'm going to be sleepy. And I realized that sleeping enough makes me more productive in the day anyway. So if I wanted to associate the procrastination, I could be a productive procrastinator because when I do start my things, I'm doing it more efficiently. But that's led to the realization like sleep is no longer expendable for me. So I try to, even if it means I'm up really late doing a thing, I make sure to get the right amount of sleep the next day. So even if it means I miss the next thing. So it, the reverse association with sleep and procrastination is that if you sleep well, you'll have enough energy to do things. You'll get more motivation from being awake. Your sleepiness will no longer become a hindering factor that'll make you procrastinate. So that's a, a reverse association there as well. That's such an adult thing to do, uh, to be like, okay, sleep is important. Uh, and you know, that's the sort of thing uh, that maturity sort of comes, uh, you know, like when you're a student, you have endless energy. And uh, of course you can also have endless coffee. Uh, and that always helps. So, um, but then after, once you tend to like, you know, once you become an adult, like, or uh, adult, you tend to choose, okay, you know what, uh, uh, sleep is important. I have to do the right things. Responsibilities are here. And uh, sometimes that might uh, help with this. Yes? Yeah, I, I just had a follow-up question for Ilakia. Yeah. So, so that exam, the example of the exam or assignment, um, that you started at four o'clock, right? Like you studied overnight and then you took the exam or assignment at uh, early morning. Wait, so did you notice like any difference between the grades you got between those two? Because the, the reason, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you finish your question. <laughs> no, the reason I ask is because I'm sure that the people who are watching this video or the ones just here on the call, we've always had those friends in high school. They seem to have a great social life. They seem to have, you know, know a lot of, lot of things about a lot of stuff. And they procrastinate all the time. And they end up getting the first grade. Like they end up being on top. So they have social life. So there are these mythical creatures that exist. So I had this one guy in school. He used to procrastinate all the time. Like he never used to attend classes. He never used to bother going to classes or, you know, but he was always the first. He used to procrastinate and get good grades by studying for say three hours. Four. So those guys are freakishly smart. It's just above <laughs> the average population. So how do you find yourself in those situations? <clears throat> See, that's part of the problem with procrastination, right? If you get rewarded for your procrastination behavior, it makes you more likely to do it again. Uh, so that exam situation that I mentioned, um, there are three exams for the class. I did that for two of the exams in the class. Um, just similar things, study late, do the test late. Those are my best scores for exams on the class. Uh, I, so, got a 90, I got a 93 <laughs> and then a 99. Wait, so which <laughs> class was it? If you don't mind me asking. It's biology, it's my major. Wow, so, okay. So you yeah. are that medical creature I was talking about. <laughs> I don't have a good social life, let's say that. <laughs> but still, it's hard to pull those off. Two out of three, that's pretty good. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's a problem. Ilakia is certainly coming out and saying, don't believe me, just watch. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos on the topic, make sure to check out our playlist where we answer more questions. We'll see you next time.